Hey, what's up, beta males? Welcome back to the manliest channel on YouTube. So for those of you who have seen my videos before, you probably know that I am not the most masculine guy around. I'm always talking about drag queens. I can't stop making glitter text. So that's why I turn to famous YouTuber Alpha M. Alpha M makes all types of videos about things that pertain to men. And that's great. I think that's awesome. I, I love men. Uh, a little too much, if you know what I mean, wink wink. And today I would like to share with you one of his more recent videos uh, titled, How Masculine Are You? 10 Signs You're More Manly Than You Think. All right, y'all, let's, uh, let's just jump right into it. What's up, gentlemen? So on the masculinity scale, from one to 10, when somebody looks at you, where do you think you fall? So right off the bat, he poses the viewer a question. Uh, how masculine do you think you come across? Personally, I don't know. I mean, I would definitely put myself somewhere in the middle, but like walking down the street, you know, when people see me, they do see a six foot tall adult man, right? Like they can't immediately clock me as a homosexual crossdresser. So like, I don't know. I don't know how masculine I'm perceived. Um, so I guess let's find out. So being a dude in today's world is a little bit confusing, right? Because masculinity is kind of like a dirty word. Everybody's yelling about toxic this and masculine that. Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, you are perfect. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I think that being able to express masculinity in a way that is positive and healthy is a beautiful thing. If Alpha M wants to encourage self-conscious men that they are perfect the way they are, then I think that is a lovely message. Uh, spoiler alert, it all goes downhill from here. There are certain characteristics and features that are perceived as more manly or masculine, starting with number one, which is a big nose. Uh-huh, uh, okay. Um, I don't know if I would have led with this one, but I, I understand what he's saying. That is a stereotype. It is also worth noting that Alpha M does have a tutorial on his channel about how to make your big nose look smaller. So, um... What is the truth? Bigger noses are perceived as more masculine than little tiny dainty perfect little perv wanna punch you in the face noses. Whoa, wait a second there. Uh, you would wanna punch someone in the face just because their nose is small? Oh, I get it now. He's a psychopath. Fellas, is it gay to have a small nose? It kind of sucks that this video could have been all about uh, helping men accept their appearance and embracing their masculinity in a positive way. Uh, but instead it's doing the opposite and it's shaming men who have less masculine features, uh, which ironically is exactly what toxic masculinity is. You know what they say, gentlemen, big nose, big hose, what? Hey, so uh, I, I wish I hadn't heard him say that. <laughs> actually, nobody says that, and I can actually speak from experience, it's probably not true. Did he just, did he, did he just confess to having a small tick? Dude. The second thing that is actually perceived as masculine, big hands, gentlemen. Hold on, is everything on this list just gonna be bigger body parts? So here's the thing, I have never had big hands. Ha <laughs> ha, look at how tiny this guy's hands are. Wow, what a fucking pussy ass beta male with your tiny, dainty little hands. I just wanna fucking punch you in the hands. But the one thing I have had are calluses, right? My hands might not be all big, but they're definitely not buttery soft because buttery soft hands also are viewed as more feminine. Gentlemen, rough those bad boys up. Fellas, is it gay to have buttery soft hands? Honestly, dude, it seems more feminine than anything else uh, to refer to people's hands as buttery soft. Like, like who taught you that term? In my opinion, regardless of the size of the hands you're rocking, guys, the one thing you should be rocking are calluses because calloused rough hands are manly. Mm, it seems like your opinion might be a little bit biased there, don't you think? Like, of course, Mr. Tiny Hands would say that, oh, the size isn't what really matters. It's actually about how calloused they are. And also it's like, you came up with this list, right? Like, so if you're insecure about the size of your hands, uh, your tiny little baby boy bitch hands, why even draw attention to them? You could have just led with the calloused thing and like, I never would have noticed your, your tiny with your oh, precious with your baby boy hand. Oh. Number three. I mean, number three. A deep, robust, rich baritone voice, baby. My God, it's masculine. It is also something that I have never had and I've always been super self-conscious about. It. There we go. All right, well, at least he's finally admitting that he's self-conscious about something. I wonder if he thinks he can make up for not having 
having the deepest voice by having the loudest voice because good god Sir, there is no need to keep shouting. There's very little you can do about changing your voice, all right? It all happens during puberty when testosterone comes rocking and rolling through your body, making you get pubes and- Oh, wow. He just, he just keeps on saying things that I wish he wouldn't. Also, I've noticed that he's been talking about testosterone a lot, so, um, I wonder if that's going to come back and become more important later. Spoiler alert. The other thing is number four, which is a pronounced Adam's apple, all right? Notice once again that he's talking about something that he does not have. As the video goes on, he keeps drawing more and more attention to his features that, by his own definition, are not masculine. Like, if he hadn't pointed it out, I would have never noticed that he doesn't have an Adam's apple. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here, I'm a total pussy, and I can make my Adam's apple dance. The fifth sign that you are viewed as more masculine than you even realize is that you have a muscular physique. That's what I'm talking about, baby! See, the hands might be small and the voice might be high, but I'm jacked! So yeah, it's becoming increasingly more and more obvious that this man is deeply insecure about his own masculinity. So what if I have small hands and a high voice and a little penis? I'm still more manly than you because I've got big muscles! What's so frustrating to me is that this video is actually really really close to having a positive message all he had to do was say something like hey guys just look at me you know I wasn't blessed by birth with all of the most masculine features but you know I chose to start working out and gaining muscle and building up my confidence and now I am perceived the way that I want to be and with the right attitude you can do it too like that would have been a great message to send to self-conscious men right but you kind of ruin that when you tell your viewers that if they have soft hands, then that makes them effeminate. Or that if they have a small nose, that you would want to fucking deck them on sight. Muscular physique is viewed as manly, gentlemen. If you've got broad shoulders, if you've got a small, narrow waist. Wait a sec, did he say a small, narrow waist? Uh, now he's speaking my language. I didn't realize that having a snatched waistline was so manly, ooh. Look at me, I'm a totally macho hunk right now. You beta males cannot take my cinched and 25 inch waist, honey. The sixth sign that you are more masculine than you realize, you've got a high testosterone level. Testosterone, baby, the more you have, the more manly and masculine you are perceived. How could anyone possibly tell how much testosterone you have just by looking at you. Ooh, look at that hunky man over there. Oh, he's got big, muscly arms, and uh... Yeah, I'd say about 850 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone. Mmm, sexy. But unfortunately, at around the age of 30, our testosterone starts to drop at about 1% per year. Is that... is that bad? Like, I don't know, this percentage means nothing to me without context. Uh, but also, if you're saying that this happens to everyone and that it's normal, then why are you trying to spin it as a bad thing? Which is why I'm so excited to tell you about today's video sponsor, Roman. Roman has a new supplement designed to support testosterone production. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, so this whole video was just an advertisement for testosterone supplements. That actually, make, that actually makes a lot more sense. No, I don't mean to come across as accusatory, but if my perception of this situation is correct, then this seems like a really scummy way to sell a product. First, you draw in viewers who maybe feel self-conscious or unsure about their masculinity. So being a dude in today's world is a little bit confusing, right? Then you highlight every possible insecurity that they might have and you mock them for it. And little tiny dainty perfect little perv wanna punch in the face noses. Then you attribute those perceived flaws to them not having enough testosterone. Our testosterone starts the drop at about 1% per year. And then you try to sell them a product that boosts their testosterone because you've shamed them into believing they need it. Roman's testosterone supplements are for anybody who want to help support their body's natural function. I mean, it's kind of genius. Uh, it's evil. But, uh, like, honestly, all good marketing is a little bit evil, don't you think? I'm sure there are valid reasons to incorporate testosterone boosters into your diet for health and fitness reasons, if that's something your body needs. Uh, I honestly don't really know too much about it, but I do know this. 
These are not some magic pills that will make you manlier, like Alpha M would have you believe. Testosterone, baby! The more you have, the more manly and masculine you are perceived. They will not make your voice deeper, they will not make your hands more calloused, uh, and they certainly will not make your dick longer. The only thing they will make you is $35 poorer every month. I don't know, the whole thing just seems like a little bit shady to me, but uh, enough about all that. Let's just try to power through the rest of this. The seventh sign that you are indeed a masculine dude, you've got a high sex drive. Oh boy, uh, I am I'm not going to like this part, huh? But as we age, once again, testosterone levels, it starts to drop. Our sex drive and our interest in sex starts to also decrease. This man has clearly never heard of Grindr, uh, I assure you, there is no shortage of horny old men in the world. Eighth characteristic of masculine men is larger bone structure. Has anybody ever said, yo, you got big bones, Jimmy? Oh, hey there, Jimmy. How's it going? Uh, might I say, your bones are looking especially big today. Speaking of bones, number nine is the size of your sausage. Oh, hey there, Jimmy. That's a big old fucking dick you got there. If you have a large penis, you are perceived as more manly and masculine than dudes that are like average or below average, like, you know, like, like, like us. Uh, who's us? Yeah, you speak for yourself, sweetheart. You don't know me like that. According to Google, the average penis size when it's just like hanging out and not, oh, oh you know what I'm talking about. I love that he can't just say flaccid or erect. Like, he's, he's so macho that he can't even say penis without going like, arr, arr, penis, when it's not all like, oh, exactly. When it is all like that. Good fucking God. God, dude, just like chill out, you know, like we can have a conversation about men's sexual health without you getting all riled up about it. He goes on to say that the average size of a penis is 5.16 inches, which I feel like if you're measuring to the nearest hundredth of an inch, like you might be doing a little bit too much there. You know, that seems a little unnecessary. I do want to point one thing out though, uh, which is that his channel is very heteronormative and this video is clearly directed only at straight cis men. I don't know his opinions on the LGBT, uh, but it is pretty obvious based on just his language and whatnot that trans men and pretty much any other queer identity uh, are not really being included in this video. So I just want to remind everyone watching that this man's views on genitals and other body parts and how they reflect masculinity, it's all outdated, right? It's all just stereotypes that we are no longer forcing on ourselves. You can have a teeny tiny little dick or even no dick at all, and that does not make you any less of a man than someone with a big ol' fucking monster cock. All I'm trying to say is do not let this man project his insecurities onto you, because he's only doing that to prove to himself that he's an alpha male or whatever, um, and also to sell you diet pills. Mostly to sell you diet pills, actually. Yeah, that sounds about right. And last but certainly not least, the tenth sign that you are perceived as masculine, you've got a ton of body hair. I like how he says body hair and then uh, like does a reveal to show no body hair. Like even I have more chest hair than that. Uh, I don't have much, but I have some. So now let's do this again. On a scale of one to 10 in terms of masculinity, one being a super spicy senorita, 10 being me. Ah uh, yes, the two genders. All right, well, let's use his list to compare ourselves. I have more chest hair. I have bigger hands. I have probably a bigger dick. I have an Adam's apple. My voice is lower. Uh, I have more testosterone which we know because I'm in my early 20s and his levels have been depleting by 1% every year, according to science. He's got me beat on muscles and um, calluses, but I think that's it, right? So according to his own standards, am I the more masculine one? I think the answer is yas. Move over beta males, the alpha has arrived. I'm gonna change my channel name to Alpha T. The T stands for twink. This is how I know his list is bullshit, because there's no way that my lanky, faggy ass would ever be perceived as more masculine than Alpha M. So once again, just in case anyone watching was absorbing what Alpha M was saying and like taking it to heart, uh, just know that you really shouldn't, because I feel like I've just completely invalidated this list altogether, right? Like, I think I've just demonstrated that the entire thing is meaningless bullshit that's just designed to make you feel bad about yourself so he can sell you a product, 
right? That's all it is, nothing more. I promise you are perfectly fine the way you are. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I think that is plenty enough activism for the day. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really genuinely do appreciate it so much that you've taken the time out of your day to watch this. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and might I remind you that subscribing to my channel is always an option. Uh, if you want to see videos similar to this one every week, uh, I have been uploading pretty consistently lately uh, because I am unemployed. <laughs> That's it.